This is a video for all my people out there who also think that tax advantaged retirement savings accounts are some of the most exciting things on planet Earth. I think I probably just came across as like that really boring person at the holiday party. But I mean, seriously, like getting a really good deal, paying less in taxes over a lifetime, who wouldn't want that? Hey guys, Jessica here. Today I wanted to talk about mega backdoor Roths. This is a seriously incredible personal finance optimization where if you qualify, you have the opportunity to contribute up to $38,500 into your 401k even after you maxed out your normal 401k. That's a lot of tax savings. The reason I wanted to get this video out super quickly is because there's been a lot of talk in Congress about squashing this retirement savings option. In fact, it's already passed the House and is moving to the Senate. If it passes, then mega backdoor Roths will no longer be allowed beginning January 1st, 2022. No idea if this is going to pass or not. Like, I am definitely not an expert in the mess that is Congress. But if you do have extra money that you could be putting in um, to a 401k before December 31st of this year, then definitely look into taking advantage of this while it's still available. And if there's any news on this, you know, after I film this, I'll definitely be sure to let everybody know by updating the description below. Okay, so what I wanted to do today is I wanted to show you guys step by step how to do a Mega Backdoor Roth. I honestly think that's probably the most daunting thing about them. The name Mega Backdoor Roth also doesn't help much. Um, and also before jumping into that, before sharing my screen, I'll also just really quickly cover what it is and how to figure out, you know, whether or not it makes sense for you. Let's do it. The point of this video is actually super simple. If you work for an employer where this is an option and you have extra money that you can spare to put into it, then you should definitely do it. So backing up a bit, let me give you some context first. Let's ignore mega backdoor Roths for a second and just talk about regular 401ks. 401ks are tax advantaged retirement accounts that are offered by your employer. And every single year, there's a limit to how much you can contribute into your 401k. This limit is set by the IRS. It has nothing to do with your employer. It's just, this limit is the same for everybody. And for 2021, this limit is $19,500. And what mega backdoor Roths allow you to do is that even after you hit that $19,500 limit, you can contribute additional money on top of it into your tax advantage retirement account. So yeah, basically this video is for super savers, like the people who've already hit $19,500 in their 401k and have even more money to contribute to retirement. That said, I know it sounds like a lot of money, but there are a lot of cases where this might make sense. So for example, say you're working at a big company today, you have access to an employer who gives you 401ks, it's all wonderful, but you're thinking, hey, maybe in the future, you kind of want to go and join a smaller company, or maybe you want to go and start your own thing. Whatever it is, if you think that maybe there's a chance that these amazing employer benefits are going away in the future, then maybe you want to try to like front load as much of your retirement savings as you can while you have access to those benefits. Or maybe flip side of this, maybe you slacked off on saving for retirement in the first few years after school, and now you're like way behind on your retirement savings. That's another good reason to sort of like catch up. And the sooner you contribute to your retirement account, the longer a period of time you have to let compounding work its magic before retirement. As you probably have guessed, based on what I was saying about employer benefits, you can only do this if your employer offers a 401k in the first place. And on top of that, they need to explicitly say that they offer mega backdoor Roths as a benefit as well. So if that's not you, that's okay. You can feel free to navigate away. We've got a bunch of other videos about personal finance optimizations that you could do. But if it is you, you're a lucky duck. Anyway, how to set up a mega backdoor Roth. So I'm going to switch to screen share in a second. But before I do that, I'm just like really high level four steps in terms of getting this done. The first step is to make sure that you have maxed out your 401k already. So double check that. The second thing is you have to calculate what your limit is, like how much additional you're allowed to put in. I mentioned up to $38,500, but that exact number is going to depend on things like company match and stuff like that. So I'll show you exactly how to calculate that. The third thing is then to set up automatic Roth conversions in your 401k account. And then the fourth thing is to go into your payroll and change the contributions to put more money in. All right, let me switch over to my computer. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is log into your 401k system. Uh, in this case, it's Vanguard. Uh, basically, I've helped a friend um, put money, set up this mega backdoor Roth, and he was super nice to be able to 
Uh, let me share a lot of this or record a lot of the process to share with you guys. So basically, when you log into uh, Vanguard 401k, this is kind of the first screen that you should see. And this is actually a new user interface for Vanguard. Uh, but in any case, you scroll down here and you can see that they make it super easy to set up the mega backdoor Roth. This is talking about saving beyond the 401k limit, which is exactly what we're trying to do here. Um, and so it talks a little bit about how to do that. If you keep scrolling down, you can see down here that um, they make it super easy to sign up. Uh, right here, you're going to click that button um, to get started. But we're not going to do that just yet. The first step is actually, as I mentioned, to double check um, the amount that you've contributed to your 401k so far this year, as well as um, check what is the maximum amount that you could put into a mega backdoor Roth. Um, so we're going to calculate those numbers first. So to do that, you go to manage my money up here. and then. Uh, you click contributions and then you want to scroll down here to this place where it says this is how much you've contributed this year all right so the first thing you want to check is to see that hey your contributions are at nineteen thousand five hundred or pretty close to it um, in this case um my friend's pretty close to it and then so you can see that that's how much you have put in and then this like light blue bar is how much the employer has put in because a lot of companies offer this thing called employer match where, hey, you put in a certain amount and they'll give you um, either a one for one or 50% or whatever it is. In this case, um, the employer is super generous. Um, this employer matches uh, 50 cents for every dollar that you put in, which means that if you put in 19,500, like let me do the math, 19,500. Uh, they will put in 9750 9, uh, which is like super generous. That's like a lot of free money. Um, in any case, uh, so once you know that, um, you could like if you're really close and maybe you don't you don't need to worry about hitting the the full amount. But um, if you're at 19.5, that's where you should be. Uh, the next thing that you want to figure out is like, what is the maximum that the IRS allows you to put into your mega backdoor Roth? And that number is 38,500, the IRS limit, minus any employer contributions. So this number. Um, so in theory, you could take 38,500 minus this number to get to the maximum that you could put in. However, uh, because like there's still another couple of pay cycles, not sure if, um, if you know, there's another uh, deduction that's already going to come out in the next paycheck. I'm just going to play it safe, basically, and just assume that this uh, that my friend already put in the maximum. So as I mentioned, it was 19,500 divided by two. That's the maximum that this employer will match. So 9,750. Okay, so we take 38,500 minus 9,750. That gets us to 28,750. 28,750 is the maximum that can go into my mega backdoor Roth. Uh, probably most people are going to put you know, amount of money that's less than this number, um, which is totally fine. But it's still really important to just know what your limit is. Um, you don't want to accidentally contribute over this limit because it's not the end of the world. Um, it's just a bit of a headache. If you do over contribute, you have to pull the money out. If you uh, fail to catch it, you might have to pay some penalties, this kind of stuff. And so Better not to deal with that. Better to stay underneath the limit. So uh, make sure you calculate the limit um, and keep your contribution below that. Okay, so in this case, 28750 is the limit. So we're going to scroll down here um, to sign up today. Uh, and this is where you sign up for the Mega Backdoor Roth, basically. And this is where the magic is, or you know, you know, know, why I said it was super easy, is that they make that conversion to Roth um, for you automatically. You don't have to do anything, any sort of after-tax um, contributions that you make will automatically be a mega backdoor Roth. So you hit um, down here, set up my Roth conversions, hit this button. And then it pulls up um, an explanation as to what the mega backdoor Roth is, how it works, make sure, you know, read through it, um, then scroll down and uh, make sure that you acknowledge this and then hit agree. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the next step is to go then to the contributions page and to set up those contributions now into your mega backdoor Roth. So you hit contributions just from that link right there. So it'll take you to this uh, page where you can see all of your current payroll deductions. Um, and here on the left is all of your current contributions. So right now, uh, my friend is currently contributing 14% of his paycheck um, into his uh, traditional 401k. 
Uh, and then going forward, um, he uh, scaled that down to 1%. Remember, he still had a little bit left um, before he hit that 19,500. Uh, and then he put uh, 99% into this after-tax 401k. So you're looking for where it says after-tax 401k. That's the money that's going to go into the mega backdoor Roth. Um, so this is this is what you want to um, put money into. Uh, you can set it as either percent or dollar value, uh, whichever one makes sense for you. In in his case, like right, the maximum was like twenty eight thousand seven fifty. Uh, his paycheck wasn't even going to get close to that, so he was like, "I'm just going to put uh, the entire paycheck uh, into the after tax." especially because there's only one to two pay cycles left before the end of the year. And so for him, he was totally fine just putting the rest of his paychecks and like living off of savings. Um, and so that's what he decided to do here. Uh, but as I mentioned, you can you can change it to a dollar value if that would be easier for you. By the way, um, if you scroll down here, you can see that actually there's um, bonus. It says bonus pre-tax 401k, bonus Roth 401k. Uh, this is for if you get an annual bonus, um, you can contribute that money into the 401k as well. Um, so if you if you do get one, then feel free to contribute to this bonus after tax 401k as well. And then you hit continue. Um, this was a bit of a, I guess, random screen, but it's basically trying to encourage people to con contribute more to retirement, which if you're watching this video and following along, um, it's not a problem for you probably. Uh, but you can basically set it up so that um, you can keep increasing your uh, paycheck deduction year on year. Uh, the thing is, like, I want to say that this screen doesn't matter so much because you've now um, changed your um, your deductions like quite drastically. So probably in January, you want to come back in here and just review all of those payroll deductions that we previously did um, rather than relying on, on any sort of automation here. In any case, uh, you can hit continue. Uh, and then review and submit. And so just making sure that previously it was 14%. Now this has gone down to one and then the remaining 99%, right? In the after tax 401k. So so to confirm, right? Like you want money going into the after tax 401k or the bonus after tax 401k and try to put as much as you can right now because um, there aren't that many pay cycles left before the end of the year. All right. Um, and then make sure everything looks okay. And click submit and that's it. And that's it. I hope that was a lot easier than you guys expected. Uh, just a quick call out also that mega backdoor Roth um, savings are going into Roth accounts, as you can probably guess by the name. Um, we did a separate video that talks about the differences between Roth and traditional, what the tax benefit differences are. And so you could definitely check out that video up here also. Any other questions about mega backdoor Roths or retirement savings in general, feel free to let us know in the comments. Also, if you'd like more support with personal finance, you know, make sure to sign up for Uprise. Uh, the link's in the description below as well. We design Wall Street level personalized financial plans completely and 100% for free. So if you have questions about retirement savings, about employer benefits, about budgeting, whatever it is, we're happy to help. And on average, we put 100K in net worth back into people's pockets. Other than that, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and click the bell for notifications. See you guys next time.